Wild rice and maple syrup have been a part of the Ojibwe culture for many centuries. Rice camps and sugar bushes bring Ojibwe people together in spring and fall. That's uh, the, the heart of our, our culture and our beliefs and, and the way that we lived long time ago and today. Wild rice and maple syrup need certain weather and water levels. The weather changes we have seem to uh, have a big effect on the wild rice. The wild rice is the one that's uh, really being affected by our weather change and not enough rain. Our, our lakes have to be at one certain level all the time to to, to seed for uh, seed the beds again for the next year. The Neishi, which means uh, thunderbird, in the Ojibwe language. Oh, miigwech. If our climate keeps getting warmer, what will happen to the wild rice and maple syrup? Northern wild rice is really kind of on the southern part of its range here in northern Wisconsin. And so if climate change could do a lot of things, it could move wild rice further north out of some of the historic areas where people have harvested it for generations. Uh, it could affect rice in a lot of ways. Climate change can affect water and much of wild rice abundance is really driven by water. Is there anything we can do to help? There's little things you can do, I think, like riding your bicycle when you want to go someplace instead of having somebody give you a lift in a car and just turning off light switches. There's a lot of small things, I think, that can add up collectively to be sort of big things. But it's got to just be kind of become part of the way that you think about your day-to-day -day living and change those things.